वेलकम एवरी वन वी आर ऑन आर डी शर्मा क्लास नाइन लाइन्स एंड एंगल्स चैप्टर एक्सरसाइज एट पॉइंट फोर एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स विथ सेज दैट पी क्यू इज पैरल टू ए बी एंड पी आर इज पैरल टू बी सी इफ एंगल क्यू पी आर इज वन हंड्रेड टू डिग्री डिटर्मिन एंगल ए बी सी गिव रीजन सो हेयर इफ वी ऑब्जर्व दिस वी कॉन्ट फाइंड ए बी सी बिकॉज दीज आर नॉट जॉइंट we'll join first of all we'll join this so i'll name it i'll name this point let it be x so now here this angle since first of all let's see that it is parallel to ab so be parallel to S B now because this has been extended, so this angle will be equal to this angle. So angle B S R will be equal to one hundred two degree because it is corresponding angles. Now here we see that P R is parallel, which is P S. This P R. to bc this pr is parallel to bc so these angles these two angles will be co interior angles so 102 degree plus angle you have to find abc or sbc will be equal to 180 degree so here sbc will come 78 degree So it was very simple. We just had to join these lines and then uh, show them as corresponding, and then find uh, the angle ABC or SBC with the help of co-interior uh, axiom. Now this is the figure of question seven in which we have to state which lines are parallel and why. So here, first of all, we'll uh, see BA and this BA. And AC. Here, these must be equal to one eighty degree, so that we can say that these are co-interior angles, and these lines are parallel. But here, if we add this, their sum will be one seventy eight degree, which is not equal to one eighty degree. So these two lines are not parallel. Now let's see these lines, DE and AC. Here, this angle is equal to this angle because this is also hundred and this is also hundred. These are alternate angles. So, due to the alternate angles, these DA is parallel to AC because of alternate angles. So, in question number eight, we are given the figure and we are given that L is parallel to M and N is parallel to P. So we have uh, given that angle one is eighty-five degrees. So we have to find angle two. Here we can see uh, we are given that L is parallel to M. So this implies that angle one will be equal to angle three will be equal to eighty-five degree because of corresponding angles. Fine. Then we are given that. Sorry, I told you the wrong statement. It's not L is parallel to here. This will be used. N is parallel to P. This is parallel to P, and here M is the transversal. Now, since L is parallel to M, so angle three plus angle two will be equal to one eighty degree because these are co-interior angles. So we know the measure of This eighty-five degree plus angle two will be equal to one eighty degree. So angle two will be equal to ninety-five degree. So we have found angle two that is ninety-five degree. Now let's do question number nine, which says that if two straight lines are perpendicular to the same line, prove that they are parallel to each other. So I have taken here. the figure and we can say that let the lines l 
m and n be such that l is perpendicular to n l is perpendicular to n and m is perpendicular to n so this means that since l is perpendicular to n this l is perpendicular to n so angle 1 will be equal to 90 degree and since m is perpendicular to n so angle 2 will also be equal to 90 degree now we observe that angle 1 and angle 2 are corresponding angles these both are 90 degree these are corresponding angles so when the uh, corresponding angles are made by the transversal l on the lines l and m so this means that l and m will be parallel so we have proved that these lines l and m are parallel to each other that's what we had to do in question number 9